Russian Defense Ministry has confirmed the crash of its military cargo. According to the ministry statement as reported by AFP, the military transport plane crashed on takeoff. On verified footage of the crashed military cargo plane flying across houses with thick smoke has emerged online. Visuals of the Russian IL-76 transport plane indicated that the plane crashed near Ivanovo Oblast of Russia, 200 kilometers northeast of Moscow. It was learned one of the right engines was on fire and 15 people were on board. According to the Russian Defense Ministry, the military transport plane with 15 people on board crashed on Tuesday while taking off from an air base in western Russia. The ministry said the IL-76 aircraft with eight crew and seven passengers on board crashed in the Ivanovo region. It didn't say whether there were any survivors. The ministry's statement said that an engine fire during takeoff was the likely cause of the crash. It was gathered that the four-engine IL-76 military transport plane is a heavy lift transport plane that has been in service since the 1970s with the Soviet and then Russian Air Force. Tuesday's crash came on a day when the Defense Ministry had reported dozens of attacks on Russia by Ukrainian drones. In the past, Ukrainian drones hit some military air bases deep inside Russia. Some concerned persons have noted that as the number of Russian military flights increased sharply during the fighting in Ukraine, so did the crashes. The unverified footage online shows the plane descending to the ground as a plume of black smoke trails behind it, while a fire can be seen around one of the engines. Additional footage showed what appears to be a crash site, with smoke rising from behind a canopy of trees. A helicopter can be seen circling in the background. It will be recalled that this is the second time this year that a Russian IL-76 military transport plane had crashed. Two months ago, another IL-76 military cargo plane crashed, with the Russian government saying it was carrying dozens of Ukrainian prisoners of war. Bring the news in a more digital way.